Welcome to another Artemis Suite tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn more about the flexible ways of working with the Mark Analyzer. The Mark Analyzer allows you to hear, analyze, and filter time signals at the same time. Therefore, unlike a data viewer, the content of a Mark Analyzer is always based on a single mark. In this example, we will first calculate the FFT versus time analysis for the sound of a printer. By default, the Mark Analyzer displays the time domain signal and all analyses that have been selected. Click on the playback icon to play the current mark. The real-time cursor shows you which part of the time domain signal is currently being played, so you see what you hear and vice versa. Click on any position in the top bar of the diagram to make the playback jump to this position. By moving the gray markings at the beginning and at the end of the diagrams containing a time axis, you can change the section of the signal to be played. You can also move this playback section by moving the top bar. In our example, we want to examine separately the individual work phases of the printer. First, select the part of the time domain signal that is to be examined separately. Now, click on the Copy icon in the toolbar of the Mark Analyzer, and then on Copy Mark. Right-click in the source pool of your project and select Paste to insert the selected signal section as a new mark. You can repeat this procedure to create as many new marks as you need. The numbers in brackets after the names of the new marks indicate their temporal order in the original mark. In order to identify the newly created marks without losing the reference to the original mark, you can assign event names. Click on one of the newly created marks to open its Properties tool window. Assign an event name to the mark, which is then displayed after the mark name in the source pool. In the Properties window of the Mark Analyzer, you can uncheck the time domain signal display in order to make room for additional analysis results. Simply drag and drop a mark onto an existing Mark Analyzer to calculate the corresponding analysis with the same settings for the new mark. This works because a Mark Analyzer is a freestanding analyzer and may be activated this way as well as by calculating from inside a project. Repeat this process with another mark, but this time press the Control key before releasing the mouse button. This causes the calculations for this mark to be performed in a new mark analyzer, which is opened as an additional document. Similar to calculating new marks, you can move additional analyses from your pool project into a mark analyzer. If you want to add the analysis to the existing ones in the mark analyzer, press the Control key before releasing the mouse button. Without pressing the control key, only the new analysis will appear by itself in the Mark Analyzer, replacing any others. For a better overview of the two diagrams, select one column for each analysis in the properties of the Mark Analyzer. Now, drag and drop another analysis into the Mark Analyzer, again keeping the control key pressed before releasing the mouse button. You can also deselect analysis results from being displayed. To do so, Go to Results in the top bar of the Mark Analyzer and remove the check mark of the analysis to be removed. For a quick presentation of your analysis results, click on the Export To icon. For example, select Export to PowerPoint to open the content of the Mark Analyzer as a new PowerPoint document or add it to an open document as a new page.
Now you have some insight into the flexible ways of working with the Mark Analyzer. In other tutorials, you will learn more about the functions of the Mark Analyzer, such as the functions for playing or filtering time domain signals.